Balancing your props is a great way to reduce vibration that uh, must be compensated for in the camera assembly so that you have the rock solid image that you want and uh, also uh, uh, to minimize the vibration that would uh, prematurely wear down the bearings in, in your motor. So balancing I your props is a, is a very good thing to do. Now I have one of the jigs which is designed to help balance the props but I find that the jig gets me only part the way there. I've balanced props, put them back on the uh, copter and noticed some vibration uh, still resulting so I wondered if I could take it uh, a step further. What I did was I created a jig with a motor on top hoping to sense the vibration imparted by an unbalanced prop uh, in a fixed assembly. This assembly was created with stock aluminum from Home Depot along with components that I picked up on AliExpress, a uh, two-cell battery, uh, an ESC, a servo tester which uh, then uh, um, drives the signal which turns the motor. This motor is a uh, DJI official Phantom 3 motor. What I found is that sure enough there are some frequencies right there where the unbalanced propeller is imparting a vibration which is a uh, resonant frequency of the entire assembly. This is, I admit, uh, not scientific because I don't know what the RPM is uh, uh, to generate that frequency uh, that, that's resonant with the whole structure. But what I do know is that it doesn't really matter. What matters is, is the magnitude of the vibration that you feel. So, yes, I had intended to put my phone in this bracket uh, with its uh, three axis accelerometer um, and using a trace app uh, look for the amplitude of, of, of the frequencies uh, representative of the unbalanced uh, propeller imparting a, a vibration and yes you can see them but it turns out that you can feel it just as well and Recreating that RPM is very easy. There it is again. Now this propeller is fairly well balanced already, but if it were not, what I would be doing is my first step is to clean up the manufacturing edges. Uh, the, the, these are pressed in a mold and you can feel along the edges and see the seam where it was molded. I clean those up and I had started by using uh, some emery cloth but it turned out that that was too cr crude. What I use is a straight razor and I simply uh, scrape it along the edge and that cleans it up nicely. It's, it's feathering it's pulling it ever so slightly and uh, the pieces of plastic are just tiny little shavings not much at all. Once the edges are cleaned up then I use my what's this called a Dubro balancer I use the Dubro balancer to get uh, a, a sense of what's which end is heavier. If this end were heavier then I would shave more off the end uh, and, and try to get it into balance. Once I have a rough balance here, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm going to test it back on this assembly. Sometimes, you know, I've, I've done eight propellers, sometimes it comes right off and uh, uh, the, the Dupro and, it, uh, and it's balanced. Other times I can feel that that harmonic now let's be clear, it's never perfect so you always feel when you're hitting that frequency let's start it up again you always feel it right there you feel it but if you do 8, 
10, 12 propellers, you're going to feel that some of them are exaggerated vibrations, others not so much. This one again feels quite good, so I'm not going to go into balancing. If it's unbalanced, I'll take it back off again, reseat it, and attempt to find the balancing level again, clean it up, put it back on, get it rough, put it back over here, and um, then when I come to a point where I feel like the vibration is uh, within, uh, it, it's as good as I can get the, the, the balance of the prop, then I'm done. I just balanced four props and what was interesting here is that the uh, grubbiest among them had the best balance right out of the gate. In fact, uh, I, I didn't even ad adjust that at all. Uh, the worst one, um, you, you can see the dot on, uh, on one uh, wing of the prop uh, where it was heavy. Um, I worked on that quite a bit. Uh, took quite a bit of material off. The, this material is from um, three out of the four props, uh, but the majority of it came off of that one until I finally got it balanced. And I spent an awful lot of time working on um, the, uh, the, the, the seam uh, in, on the edge uh, of a couple of these. Uh, here we are. Did quite a bit of work uh, there. So uh, one never knows. Uh, you can see here that raised edge uh, that I didn't touch, and, and I won't go back and touch now, but this is, this is from um, imperfections in the mold uh, that I like to clean up before I begin balancing, uh, but uh, uh, miss that. At this point, it's, uh, I'm considering it balanced, so I won't mess with it anymore. Um, so I did mess with it. I, I cleaned it up and I put it back on on my jig and sure enough it was back out of balance. So um, uh, compensated for it, uh, took some additional material off and, and now it's balanced again. Um, I was surprised at how little material it, it took to throw it out of balance just taking that, that edge off and it caused me to wonder if uh, the aerodynamics of it might be imparting a, a a vibration. Uh, that's beyond the scope of uh, what I'm uh, attempting to uh, uh, to do here. I'm just trying to minimize vibration by adjusting the uh, the amount of material, and uh, the the amount of material shouldn't be changing the aerodynamics much. But um, uh, there you have it.